Reverend Joe Combs and his wife Evangeline are about to go on trial charged with child abuse, kidnapping, and rape. There ought to be something that you care about that you want God to do. And a lot of the beatings occurred in here where she would be made to stand in a circle. She said uh, one would beat her until that one got tired and then the other one would start beating her. She was beat with ropes, chains, whips, umbrellas, bats, hammers. Joe and Evangeline Combs were arrested in November of 1998. My dad lived a double life. One of a righteous family man and dynamic speaker in the public eye. But one of sordid sexual secrets privately. Secrets that only my siblings and me and my mom knew. It was, it was craziness. Living one way, preaching another. Lay aside the sin which does so easily beset you. Now that means you can't run the race for God if you've got sin unconfessed in your life. The church deacon says his pastor stole his wife. He lusted after her. He says the pastor controlled his life for years, forcing him to sleep in his basement. The pastor denies it. He has harsh words for the retired deacon. A fellow who would allow an outsider to send him to the basement to be a wimp. Thy deacon's wife. We'll just pretend about Fine. it. This is the <laughs> boom ray. We can't see you back here. What? We can't see you. We're too short. 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 We're too
just bought a hotel. I just bought a vacant lot. Our church is about to enter into a four million dollar building program. I'm about to start two more schools. I don't know what they are. I just want to start a couple of schools. That's all. I don't know what they are, but bless God, and sin is free. I've never been as happy. I've never enjoyed preaching as much as I enjoy it now. You could have chosen a college. <clears throat> many, many things we do not have. We have no government support. We have no denominational support. All we do is barely pay the bills. And I, came, I came across that two-syllable word, money. I like that. You know. And then I came across those three-syllable words because I said, I'm going to have to better my education if I run around Dr. Jack Howells. It's the three syllables. And I liked it. I got a check one day. It says, deal by the end college here, the student body sitting before you here, the staff and faculty administrators and a few friends around the country have pooled their resources in the last few days have raised $70,000 for your 70th birthday. <laughs> Students, those are three armed guards. Don't you try to touch that money. Uh, we have a wheelbarrow full of cash for you. Bring it right on up here. That is $70,000 of real cash. Howells Anderson College, I often say, is not a college, it's an army. Our students are not students, they're soldiers. Our faculty is not a faculty, they're sergeants and trainers. Training an army to reach America for the gospel of Christ and to save our country. That isn't all. Howells Anderson College is not only an army, it's a family. I'm not the chancellor, I'm the father. I'm the father. I'm the father, I'm the father, I'm the father, I'm the father.